In this short video, we're going to talk about RootsMagic's database tools. Now, there's two types of problems you can run into with your RootsMagic file. One of those would be problems with issues that are data entry related, uh, such as a person being born after their mother died, things like that. And those can be fixed with RootsMagic's problem tools. That's under the tools menu and go down here to problem search. But what we're talking about today are database issues where there's actually internal possible problems with the database structure itself. And for that, RootsMagic has added database tools under the file menu because you're actually working with the structure of the file. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on file and come down here to database tools. And we're just going to give you a brief demonstration of what each of these four database tools are. The first of these tools basically just checks the integrity, in other words, the structure of the file itself. It's not checking the in, whether you've got any wrong dates or anything like that. It's checking whether you've got uh, links that are pointing to non-existent records and things like that. So you just click on this and if your results are okay, it's going to tell you simply the integrity check uh, results and it's just going to say okay. Now if there are problems, it may list those problems. Okay, now depending on how severe those problems may be, there's a couple of possible solutions. One of those is to just go ahead and rebuild the indexes. Now what rebuild the indexes does is takes the data records that you actually have and rebuilds what are called the indexes, which is just how Roots Magic knows which records are connected to which other records. And a lot of times if you have a problem with this database integrity, rebuilding the indexes will fix that for you. So let's just go ahead and click on that. And this is a very small database, so it goes quite quickly. If you've got a really huge database, that can take a little bit longer, and it will then tell you re-indexing is complete. If you do that, you can then go back and test the database integrity and see whether or not that fixed it. Now, if it fixed it, um, you know, that's great. If it didn't fix it, uh, there are uh, uh, one. There's one other possible option to help clean up here, and that is this clean phantom records. Now, phantom records are records uh, of different kinds. It can be people, it can be sources, it can be whatever that have um, part of their data is missing, so it actually just looks like a blank record. And let me give you show you an example of one right in here. I'm going to cancel on it here. I'm going to go to the family view. If you ever see something like this, where you have a child that's listed in a family, or children, there might be more than one, that's listed in a family, but there's no name, and if you try to click on it and edit it, it won't let you edit it because it says it's not a person. This is what's called a phantom child. This is a phantom child record. Okay, So th there may be other situations in other parts of the program where you may encounter records like this. If you do, that's where going to the file and the database tools and doing the clean phantom records. This will go through and look for all of these phantom records to see if there are any. Um, and if there are, it will clean them up. Okay, it's still sitting here because I've still got this box up on the screen here. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to cancel this. And you're going to see that phantom record has now disappeared. Okay, now if... Um, after doing all of this, you still have corruption in your, in your file. If you go to database tools and the database integrity is still, uh, there's a list of problems, it may be necessary for you to restore uh, your most recent backup. Um, this, these tools will fix some, uh, some data issues, but there are some issues in a database um, that can happen, you know, for whatever reason. It can be a bad spot on the hard drive. It can be another program um, overwriting data into your into your database. It can be uh, databases crashing or, or the computer turning off right in the middle of, of the program trying to do something. Any number of reasons. Um, so these tools will help you with that. The final one, Compact Database. Um, this is just something you might want to run occasionally. And what it simply does is as you work with the program and do a lot of deleting records, it, it leaves 
kind of empty space in your database file. It doesn't hurt anything to have that empty space in your file other than it just takes up a little bit more room. The file is a little bit bigger. If you think that um, getting rid of that empty space will shrink your file down enough to make a difference for what you want to do, go ahead and click on Compact the Database and what it does is it just goes and takes all of that blank empty space out and compresses the file down, makes it a little bit smaller. So those are the database tools and what they are used for.